Hey everybody, welcome to Gethsemane's Live 7 at 7. Uh, it's exciting to be here tonight with you and glad to have you uh, watching and participating with it. I hope these seven minute little um, sessions are delivering some hope and encouragement to you in your everyday life that you get a little, little dose every day of what the Holy Ghost is speaking to you and what God wants you to know about you. And right now we've been talking about new identity or... Yes, our new identity, and how our new identity is found in Christ. And I want to read from 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5. And, you know, Pastor LeVon Dozier was in uh, at Gethsemane this morning, and he had a great message. If you, have, if you didn't have a chance to listen to it, I would highly recommend it. Go back and listen to it. Uh, it is, it's very, very good. It's very challenging. And uh, I just want to um, expound a little bit on a couple things that I got. But in... 2 Corinthians 5, we've been focused on verse 17, but I want to back up and read a couple of verses before that. It says in verse 15, talking about Jesus, Jesus died for everyone. Now that right there should be enough to end any racism, to end any partiality, to end any sexism, anything, any of the isms that we put up with and we deal with on a daily basis, that should, just those words right there should end those. Uh, feelings or emotions or thoughts but they don't and we have to keep dealing with them because we live in this world where things are always inundating us and the media is pushing an agenda on us and really trying to get us to see things a certain way but we need to see things the way God sees them and the way he sees them is that Christ died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves instead they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them so we have stopped, and this is Paul saying, I love this, he says, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. Again, if we would just stop doing that, stop looking at things from a, a uh, human point of view or our ethnicity point of view or our just whatever point of view, stop looking at them through our point of view and look at them through the point of view that Christ has, that Christ died their death. He already died for them. It says, at one time, we thought, mere, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, like he was a man. They just thought of him like a man, a human here on this earth. They saw him. They walked with him. People touched him. He was a physical person. But Paul said, we don't see him that way anymore. He says, um, <laughs> how differently we know him now, because they've come into the truth of who Christ is right now. And it, it's changed them. And that's why he says in verse 17, this means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. You know, the old life is done and gone and away. And what, you, what we're focusing on and what we need to keep in mind, and, you know, Isaiah says that if you keep your mind stayed on God, he will keep you in perfect peace. So the question is, are you in perfect peace? If you're not, your mind's not stayed on God. So whenever we have our mind stayed on God and we start seeing things, we start seeing people, all people, every ethnicity, every race, whatever, whatever color, whatever you want to say. If we start seeing them the way God sees them, we'll see them through the same lens that Jesus saw people and humanity through. And that was the lens of love. And that's what we really should be seeing people as that... Christ died their death, the same as he did for me, for you, for anyone. So I just want to encourage you to, to think about that, to think about seeing people the same way that God saw them. It was valuable, worth having his son die for them. And I tell you, that's, that is a challenge. It is a, because you get caught up in what you see. You get caught up in people's actions and behaviors rather than their heart and seeing them how God sees them. You know, in 1 Samuel 16, it says God judges the what well, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. You know, this the the racism and the the things going on over the last couple of weeks, that is a result of men looking on the outward appearance of the carnal side. If again, if we could just realize that we've been made into a new creation that old things have passed away, all things are new, and we see things, we have the ability through the Holy Spirit in us to see people the way God sees them. 
And there's no one, that's why it says in Ephesians, there's no boasting. You can't, you know, go to God with your works because it's not about what you've done. It's about what Jesus did. He died your death. He placed value on you. Even when you were a sinner, Romans 5, 8, even when you were a sinner, Christ died for you. So I just, just encourage you to just get into and to the word and start seeing people the way God sees them. And in Colossians uh, chapter 3, verse 10, it says, we stand, we fully, I'm sorry, <laughs> let me get this right. We stand fully identified in the new creation, renewed in knowledge according to the pattern of the exact image of our creator. Now I'm reading from the Mirror Bible, uh, Colossians 3, verse 10. and verse 11, it says, the revelation of Christ in us gives identity to the individual beyond anything anyone could ever be as a Greek or Jew, American or African, foreigner or famous, male or female, king or pawn. From now on, everyone is defined by Christ. Everyone is represented in Christ. And I like, <laughs> I love the parentheses he puts. It says, in seeing him not just recorded in history, but revealed in us, we discover the face of our birth as in a mirror. So I just want to encourage you to, to listen. If you haven't seen the message this morning or listened to it from Pastor LeVon, I, I want you to know that it was right on time. It was a great message, a challenging message, because I think, you know, there's things in everyone's heart that you put off dealing with. You don't want to deal with it because it might hurt too much, or it might be too controversial, or it just might be something that, you know, that's just what I believe my whole life. And you have to come to the point to say, I'm a new creation. If old things are gone, I need to align myself with what my new creation means. And that's that Christ died for me and he died for everyone equally. So I just want to encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, re again, just meditate on that 2 Corinthians 5, 17, actually 15 through 17, and just go through that. Pastor LeVon this morning talked about the tale of two sons. And really, whenever I was thinking about that, like he didn't tie it into new identity, but really that's what, he's, that's, what that's talking about, our old identity or our new identity? Who are we going to align with? And you know, it's not just a sing. It, it can be a singular one decision when you receive Christ, you become new. But in the after that, you've got so many decisions on which identity you're going to decide to go with. I want to encourage you to always follow and always go with the identity that goes with Jesus. So think about that. I love you guys. It's been seven minutes.